Welcome back to Raid Shadow Legends with Blazing Corp. We are well. We just had a whole bunch of content drop, uh, so we're doing we're banging through Dragon's Lair right now. Uh, they're just finished stage 21. This is the team that I used to beat it. Uh, Iron Brago and Bad Alcazar are basically my duo. Uh, there they pretty much uh, show up in all my team comps, so pretty nice. Uh, the affinity here, I can't remember. Actually, what is the affinity here? It doesn't matter right now. But um, it definitely was not spirit affinity uh, friendly. So uh, that's why we ran. Actually, yeah, I guess it was force uh, there. That's why we ran uh, spirit and not magic. All right, so let's go on to stage 22 next. All right, we are here at stage 22, uh, magic affinity. So we're not gonna be able to use these spirit champions uh, here at all uh, there. Uh, we can use magic, however, so we might get Astralon and Countess Lix back in here. Madame Cirrus is good everywhere uh, there. And uh, so is Bad Alcazar. He is good in here. I mean, we might actually end up using Iron Brago. Let's just see uh, here. It looks like my little one is looking for her mama uh, here. So she's uh, saying, hey, what's up? All right, so we'll do uh, Bad Al as the main. And this team should be fine uh, here. We might even throw in Under Priest if, uh, if, yeah, you know what? We might actually just throw in Under Priest instead of Madame Ceres uh, here. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna try this without Under Priest and see how it goes. All right, so just thinking up new uh, different comps. Basically, this is all about control, control, control uh, there and not letting them get a turn as much as possible uh, there because, uh, yeah, they're bound to be like Doom Tower ads hit hard uh, there and have a ton of health. So basically, you want to keep them as controlled as possible. Alright, so you can see fears, block, block skills, stuns, uh, sleep will work, frozen will work, or freeze will work. There's all kinds of stuff that will work on here. Got tons of poisons out, so if they are able to take a turn, or if while they're stunned, they uh, come back out of their stun, they're taking massive damage. And obviously having a uh, reduce reduce um, attack and reduce defense is always a good thing man you can see those uh, poisons hit 11,000 each that was amazing uh, there so uh, obviously second wave is going to be a little harder just because we might not have our skills um, rolled back uh, roll back around so you know definitely important to keep uh, turn meter decrease and that's why we have Countess Lix in here obviously she goes every time that Astralon goes she can put out weekend uh, there and I have actually uh, on her ooh, ooh. Uh, I have on her um, I have on her uh, giant slayer so she can proc uh, quite a bit uh, there on that end so good thing we've got bad Al and we have uh, Scylla the Drakes uh, who is basically uh, <laughs> quickly becoming one of my favorite champions uh, there since she can revive and heal Alright, so this is going pretty well. Let's see, you know, how these guys do against the boss. There's going to be lots of debuffs uh, there coming at us with poisons uh, there. So we got to make sure that we stay sturdy and, uh, you know, get Bad Al to cleanse uh, there as much as possible. Now this might be one stage if you're having problems with it, if you don't have, you know, kind of the top, 
I mean, my, they're not properly geared uh, here. Uh, I, bet, I bet this is pretty much a gear check uh, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, just making sure your champions are properly geared, you know, have enough defense, have enough offense uh, and or, you know, resistance accuracy to make sure they can do these stages. All right, so we're most likely going to get hit. Let's see. So we don't have any enemy max HP guys uh, here. And, you know, that's what we do these stages for is because uh, I know not everyone has, you know, crazy max enemy HP you know, champions, you know, Seer, Armager. Well, everyone should have Armager. Uh, there, but it's hard to kit him uh, out uh, there, so I do understand not having him if you don't have him uh, there. Um, you know, roll guard. I don't even have a cold heart, which is, uh, you know, super important there. Uh, there. Uh, she does turn meter and whatnot, but uh, nowadays uh, these guys can't, well, the dragon can never be turn meter, so, um, you know, always important uh, there on that end. You know, uh, uh, just making sure that we have a sustained team. And that seems to be the way that Raid is going uh, there with the sustained teams. Uh, there. So we're going to actually take you through each one of these levels uh, here. Uh, might do each level in an individual video uh, here as these uh, sustained teams do take quite a while to burn. Uh, they're down the bosses man. Look at those 60,000 hits on the on the poisons. That was incredible uh, There, but yeah, that just tells you how much HP this boss has it is ridiculous Now something that uh, a lot of people aren't really aware of well I guess not that they're not aware of they just kind of might forget is that Astralon and Countess Licks uh, there, Countess Lix always is counter is attacking with him, so she's always putting that weaken out, which is great. Uh, there, and Astralon doing the uh, defense uh, down, but she's also cleansing him, so that's super important uh, when we're thinking about this uh, particular level. Uh, here is that uh, you know they're kind of the weakest of the bunch uh, of the three here, so having them not have the you know debuffs uh, that the other ones are gonna have to contend with you know is super important uh, there all right so this crap chest so we're gonna sell that uh, there but kind of nice to see that uh, that six star is dropping uh, there and we'll be back next time with stage 23 let's chat then